Team Liquid makes their way to Vitality, who has made the upper bracket run with Zen. Can the rookie make his debut with a regional win, or can Liquid overwhelm? In a weekend where we were seeing if Zen could live up to the hype, it's now them versus Team Liquid. The team that one year ago, Johnny, were the new hype, looking to squash the dreams of the youngster. But if they want to do that, they've got to beat them twice. Yeah, what a way to go into the final, though. Four straight wins against a hot BDS. Now, if there's ever a time, ever a time to believe in Liquid, you'd think it would be now. Vitality have played the best tournament out of any team that we've seen this weekend. But the grand final always hits different. Anything can happen here. All eyes on this guy, Zen. Have been all, on him all weekend. He's performed brilliantly. Facilitation has been what Zen's all about. Yeah, very good at just reading the play. It's, I'd imagine, one of the easiest players in the world to go around with because you know if you go forward, he's probably got you covered. Let alone what you can do offensively, which tends to be the more highlight-grabbing stuff. Look forward to seeing whether or not, as well, the perfect bracket can come out from the Oracle himself. By the time I do win this, that would be quite something. And they are the team expected to do so. The desk expecting it. Oh. The one at home expecting it. A toe with Oski. He's got oh. support, but Radosin is just too good. Yeah, that's an unbelievable save by Radosin. Then actually panic flip there, left Radosin 1v1, actually 1v2. He managed to get away from the bump and make the save. Radosin, such a storied career he's had starting off. Starting to make a splash in the EU scene with Williams Resolve back in the day. Nobody thought he was able to play at this level, but now he's proven it. Oh, Zen's capitalized on a miss here. That looked like it should have been cleared by Team Liquid. You can't give Zen opportunities like that. Zen's freed him to avoid the bump, and he's put it behind a toe. And after the miss, it was going to be pretty simple, but I do love your point there about Radosin because we've had so much fanfare for Zen coming into this. There was none of it for Radosin. I, a lot of people looked at that uh, move and went, what? Oh. And I think a lot of people are going to be looking at this goal, and they're going to think, what? Yeah, Alpha was, I think, uh, just a little bit unnecessary there, going to pop the ball. He's hoping that Oski's already committed when he pops that. Um, but Oski just waited for that touch and then took the shot. Ritosin expected it, but he was a bit too far off his line. Yeah, Alpha just getting the wrong uh, decision there, unfortunately, for Ritosin. You know, he'd look like a genius if Oski just jumped immediately, though. So, you, you know, fair play to, to Alpha from that perspective. He wasn't making a play that can't work. Um, it, it just depends on if he gets the right read. That time he didn't. Oski has pretty jumped about two weeks too early. Now off the backboard, Radosin in, puts some pressure on a toe. Lays the ball off to his teammate. Zero boost for Oski. Does well anyway. Now picked up a little bit of something. Continues on. Oski trying to outplay everybody. Now he's got the ball in field. And a crunch pass way too high for this find someone else. Radosin takes his time past one. Alpha is on the far side. Does win the challenge, and a Chronic has to just get into some safety. That's a very nice bounce for Team Liquid as well. Chronic receives it after hitting it into the wall in the first place. Look at that. What can Atal do with one boost? He's used it there just to try to get some propulsion. Chronic with a whole lot more now. He's then going to make sure that his first touch goes nowhere. Team Liquid are looking for a way through with Vitality. All back in defense, it's going to be difficult to find. Atto fakes high, goes low. Not once, but twice. Still Vitality, able to clean up the mess. Very structured defense all weekend, right? Vitality. You know, we expected them to just be all out offense. Um, you know, the mechanicals show up front. And they've looked like a very complete team. Hmm. That's why they're in this final, really. Ferra said it in the interview after the winner final. Then about making space for teammates. What a save by Alpha. Force came through. He was there to make the save. Zen now blocks the follow-up. Team Liquid of the extended pressure period. Vitality have answered well. I feel like the quality of defense across everybody has been very solid today, especially. It's the reason why the quality of the goals has been so good as well, because Everyone's had to score the, the goals that we'd often refer to, Johnny, as you can't do that every game. Well, no, that is every game from here on out. That is what we can come to expect, and Oski was so close. So putting that one on target, crucial touch to take it away from him. Now Atto, looking for the outplay. Can he get some follow-up? Not quite. 90 seconds left in this game. 
bump to Zen! Oh! Well, that'll do it. Vitality have been in the defensive path for a while, but suddenly a shot comes through for Alpha. It looked like Zen might be going for the ball, but Ooh, he actually just bumps the last defender out of the way, knowing the shot was already on target. I'm not entirely sure how that's gone that way, but hey, you know what? It's in, and you've got yourself a one-goal lead. We take those. Men in 15 as well. Toe. Back into the midfield. There's been a few of these now for Liquid. <laughs> and they've not been there. They don't quite know when they're going to get those wins. So they haven't been able to anticipate the follow-up. Oski back over the top. Getting long periods of time on the offense. In field. That's how off the bump as well. But two players. You're not going to get both of them. Oh, look at Zed go. He's on the transition here. Tight angle. Leaves it. And Alpha is actually going to be denied by Atto, who had a, an eye on Zen, one eye on Alpha there, watching for the shot. Great call there by Zen, though, to leave the shot for Alpha, who had a much better angle. Yeah, that would have fooled a lot of goalkeepers. Atto's not one of them. And now you've got to try and find a way past a defense uh -oh. of this quality. You know they don't need to do much. Off the backboard, Zen tries to set up. Redosin used to play alive, but that is playable for Oski. Got a Chronic in the midfield, should he be able to find him? Instead, Radosin on the half rotation. It's been difficult to get those clean cut opportunities. Liquid, plenty of time on the ball. <laughs> now they've got to make something happen. Oski with no time left, double reset. Shoots downwards, it's going to be defended by Vitality. And they'll confirm the game one win, Vitality, clinical. Just too consistent in defense. They look like a perfect team at the moment. Zen. Not coming in with the 1v3 style that we see from so many youngsters, so many young mechanical players in the scene, trying to come in and steal the show. He just wants to be a part of the Vitality show, and it is working out so well. I mean, I am just so impressed that a player with his mechanical ability is this selfless on the ball. It, it, it is wonderful to watch. Team Liquid have got a real problem on their hands here. Any momentum they had from the 4-0 win in the lower final, now gone. Yeah, and I, I think it's very interesting as well because for the longest time, there was the argument about how you cannot put this many mechanical players together because they're all going to suck the oxygen out of the room. They're going to take up too much boost. You just can't do it. No, not the case. This is a new hybrid style of player where you are now seeing not just Zen playing well, but this is the best alpha and redosin we have seen in a good, good while. Uh, it's just, uh, it was always a ridiculous take, and it looks more and more ridiculous with every passing season to say you can have too much mechanical ability on a team. There's no limit to how much mechanical ability uh, you can have, um, and just how much it'll help you. You know, mechanics, it just makes you more efficient, makes you, you know, a lot more difficult to deal with. Zen so looking at the ceiling double gear, Oski's all over him. And you know, when we say that Zen's not come into this event with the 1v3 mechanical plays. It's not to, to downplay his achievement here. He's actually just playing so well as a team player. You know, he's not trying to 1v3 every single play. He's passing, he's making space for his teammates. He's faking, he's calling that he's leaving the ball to let his teammates come into these plays. And these are all good things to do. It's, I think, something a lot of the other mechanical players around the world are going to be looking at, thinking, okay, maybe it's time for me to trust my teammates a little bit more. So off the Reset. Now we get the follow-up, and that was what was missing in game number one. They had the mechanics, they had small wins, they never had the follow. Yeah, good positioning there by Oski. He's covered in any kind of weak clear in that direction, which is what's happened here. Ridosin didn't expect to get um, just a clean touch on that. He's hoping to just block it, stop the play in its tracks. That last second change of direction from um, Atto forced his touch to be a bad one. Oski ready for it. Team Liquid 1-0. Oski once again on the ball, on the play, and maybe on the way to getting his team another one. Zen Redosin crunches through some challenges. Zen doesn't look like he's got support for a while yet. Alpha just sneaking up behind. Oski controlling every single time at the moment. Working for now, but you do wonder what happens when Vitality start trying to shut that down. But now Vitality have been pretty happy just to allow the play to develop from Team Liquid and just deal with what heads their way. Oh, so beautiful back pass there by Atto. Oh, okay. <laughs> that corner double coming out of defense. Always expect one more touch with players like these on the field. 
and Salty are playing very closely together. Can they defend? No, they can't. It's another well worked passing play. First goal is Atto to Oski. Now it's a chronic to Atto. Team Liquid, the three headed dragon offense, starting to go into top gear. Significantly improved. Just seems like they drop their respect a little bit over on the side of Team Liquid. They're not a team that you really want to see in, as you were describing in the last one, a controlled game like Vitality were trying to play. No, this is a roller coaster squad. And they are ready just to go for the ride. For now, they're enjoying that two goal lead. And follow up immediately a toe. Or actually gets it back down. That's crucial for Macronic. Do not want Vitality Stand to build up that pressure. Oh, actually, a Chronic's there and oh, oh, oh. Dosin. Incredible vision to shut that down. Now it's going to be the, the other two thirds finally combining for a goal. We've had two different combinations from Team Liquid here. More recovery by Chronic there on the ceiling. They're bringing Oski into the game's end with a difficult overhead read. He misses it and Oski punishes him. And we do have the perfect combination again. Two thirds for every single player on Team Liquid when it comes to goal participation. Three nail in game two. It's been utter domination. If they lost the momentum from the 4 nil win, it's right back with some new momentum. They're not allowed to hold it from a series. They'll try and score four in this game. Radosin scrambling back. Actually, clutch that allows Radosin to move back into the play. But Team Liquid running rampant, responding so well. And Ato is already off the ceiling. This is scary. This is a team that is just going for what they think will work. I.e. the best version of Team Liquid. Oh. And it is 4-0. A trick for Oski. <laughs> They're just unstoppable when they get rolling. This team have had an unbelievably high peak this weekend. Radosin worried about the bump from a chronic there. Didn't dive into the play. And he just gets completely exposed. The top corner shot flies over his head. This is just ridiculous. Three goals for Oski in this game. They're making Vitality look pretty normal right now. No shots at all for Vitality. So flawless pressure play from Team Liquid continues. And we have spoken an awful lot about what this is for Team Vitality. The debut of Zen, the improvements that are there. Maybe Alpha finally getting a chance to match the silverware to his talent level. But for Team Liquid, they had a very interesting offseason. And for a Chronic more than anyone else, this would be so validating to go in and win this regional. Oh, certainly. I mean, there is a lot of trash talk on Twitter this weekend after EU Day 1. And Chronic was part of it from many different discussions. Um, you know, a lot of players were uh, tweeting at him saying, you know, your spot in this team's not safe. Oski and Atto um, are going to look for a better player. And he's here to show that he, they don't need to look for a better player. Uh, you know, he is confident. He's ready to... Just go deep in this tournament, we'll win the entire thing. When you've got Oski on form like this, I think it is possible. Atos had an incredible event, uh, start to finish, but it's that, you know, that one-two punch, Oski and Atto. Some of the shots they're pulling off in this uh, last day of competition are completely ridiculous. And Chronic as well, scored the banger in the last series. It's been a joy to watch them on, on the field. It must be, I mean, we already have Colin Stubby that we speak to an awful lot, but what are the most entertaining teams to be a supporter of? Because you really do not know what you're going to get. They seem to have the floor that is always going to be a top four team, even despite what we see from them sometimes. But the ceiling, we really don't know where that is for this squad. No way. <laughs> we've not, we very rarely get to see all five just popping off. It's, I mean, all three all popping off. It looks like five sometimes. But we are now heading towards the final few moments of this game. Vitality proved what they were capable of in game number one. Team Liquid smash game number two. We tie the series up at one each. I mean, you, you come into a grand final like this, uh, in double elimination, you need to win two best of sevens. We all understand that, but I don't think we, you know, we really truly understand how difficult that is against a team in the form of Team Vitality um, and just how well they've played. Their floor has been the highest in this tournament. Maybe Team Liquid would have had a higher peak, a higher ceiling, but the floor for Vitality has absolutely been there. I mean, everybody uh, understands that it's difficult, but 
Team Liquid don't seem to agree. Uh, you know, they're, they've just won 4 0 in the second game here. And it was all out offense the entire time. They barely let Vitality have a sniff at the goal at the other end. And yeah, this is, uh, this is how they're going to do it. If they are going to do it, they're going to do it by crushing an offense. And so one thing you did mention there that I just want to. Uh reiterate on is the fact that if you have not seen this sort of bracket before it is a double elimination team vitality are coming in from the upper bracket they have not lost in this tournament team liquid lost earlier on today they must defeat vitality twice one to drop them into the losers bracket another one to eliminate them so this might not be the only series left today For vitality they're hoping it is and they're hoping that team liquid have stepped down a gear because if we see another game like that one then the reset is looking likely speaking of resets already seeing many <laughs> also just known as playing the ball from oski yeah, also just know, known as a touch you know it, it is it's probably a high, higher likelihood that these guys can get a reset on the ball than any of us on the okay well maybe not i don't want to Shade CJ CJ too much. I was going to say any of us in the cast can hit the ball. <laughs> Fair play to him. He was pro. I was, I was mentioning five year. Freeze last time. We need him for our pros versus casters games. <laughs> then we maybe can get you to hit an open net, Johnny. A toe off the hook shot. Bang. Too strong. That's no snipes to bottom corner. Uh, it's a miss clear by Zen. He's trying to get that past the halfway line. Atto sets himself perfectly with the first touch. He can shoot that any corner of the net that he wants, or he can even pass himself off the back ball with a run up like this. Alpha 54, before he can figure out which option Atto's going to go for, it's already too far away from the ball. 1 0. Five without an answer. Zen looking to be the answer. The chosen one responds. Send up into the air early with a ceiling. Double tap and then a flip reset to finish it off. I mean, we're asking a lot of the youngster here. No one has had to come in with this much pressure on them to RLCS in a long while. He is responding to all the critics and doing it in style. Over the top, Alpha has pre-jumped to try and set himself up for a double tap. Doesn't quite work. Vitality have snapped the skid. Now it's Zen off the ceiling. Akronik is all by himself. He's got oh two to deal my. with. Is it going to be the setup? Not quite. Asked a little bit too much of Alpha. But there's always the worry. And he'll oh getting my. it even worse. Zen has the brace. I suppose they've always got that option, the Zen option. Just go ball chase, young man. Just. Do your thing, 2-1. <laughs> right before that, he had a 1v3 passing play attempt that nearly ended up on a goal. Now, now Team Liquid have got even more to think about. Well, that's maybe the quickest I've felt of momentum in a series shift. Whiplash from that sort of play. Oh my goodness. Zen and Redosin combining. Zen's already in. He's out of boost, but that's going to drop down in a toe. Oh. The coolest man in the lobby. I think you just control it. Yeah, the Cucumber personified in that play. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm starting to wonder how difficult of a position you'd have to put him in for Oski to not control the ball of a reset. Uh, it'll be a while before we see that. Oh, Redosa's got half a chance here. Much more than half a chance. All of a sudden, he waited a bit long uh, for Zen to get the demo there. Shot no longer possible for the rotation game through for Team Liquid. Here goes Zen again, though. He really has stepped up this game. He's moving pretty quickly, showing it. Oh my goodness, he's uncontainable. You want a hat trick? He's got it for you. You want it in <laughs> style? He's got you covered. Zen, outplay, out everything. You cannot stop him. It's like 3 so 1. Shogun what are you going to do? Stole them. The, uh, you went, what was it? Ceiling double and followed up by a reset? I didn't catch it. Could you do it again? Zen says, yeah, no problem. Here, it looks a bit, little bit like this, but maybe a bit faster this time. Zen is playing this like he put every single mechanic into a randomizer, decided to pull out the top three that come out and put them into the next play of an RLCS regional final. That is what future Rocket League is looking like. And Zen is pioneering it. Alpha, not to be outdone, does get his shot saved. 
Oh, Zen's up again, though. Decides to go back forward. Atto covers him. Team Liquid having to defend for an extended period of time here. This is not their strong suit. <laughs> that speaks more to how good their offense is than anything else. A team that plays so aggressively can sometimes come back to bite them. This game, I don't think we can really fault them too much. They've just been caught out of position. The three brilliant plays from Zen. Alpha and Renosin have barely put a wheel wrong as well. 3-1, Oski looking to try and get some momentum back for Team Liquid. The most momentum-based team we've had this weekend. Chronic sees space on the far side. So he's not able to get good contact with the ball though. That might be uh, an open net miss for Zen. Nope. Well, it's Alpha, Alpha 54, sorry. But I guess that shows even the pros in the highest level regional Stop we've ever coping, seen in the history Johnny. of Rocket League. Even they miss open net. Even they miss open net. Let me go. I, I I'm creating the compilation. Somewhere. At the end of this season, I'm creating the compilation. People, people have not seen half the open nets you've missed. Unless they just give me something. It's already bad enough missing them. I don't need to then feel the pain again, remembering. Oh, Oski now can't quite create something of it. Team Liquid are running out of time here. They've been dazzled by the bright light. And Zen is just everywhere. We've heard from the freestyle community, Johnny, what plan B is. I think I like Vitality's plan B a little bit more. Oh! oh. Okay! That's not the clear they wanted. Oh. Zen is trying to knock that into the back corner, but that's very strikeable. Zen invites the shot from a chronic regrets his decision. With 30 seconds to go, Team Liquid are in a winnable position. Let's see what they can do with it. Off the wall, Oski doesn't have the boost to continue onwards, so Zen with Alpha in support. Zen gets the bump, and Oski had to be there. That was going to put the game out of reach. And now this is horrible, because Zen can not only play it, he can play it with so much time, whittling off the clock. I mean, not what he was after, though. Can Liquid even get control of the ball, let alone set it up in a scorable shot position? Well, Vitality are very advanced in the, in the field at the moment, so... Counter-attack could come against them. It looks like they're going to be just fine, though. So Team Liquid not able to get anything going at the end of the game there, despite Vitality being very, very pushed up on the field. I mean, not that it was a mistake for Vitality, but inherently risky, of course, to be that uh, far forward with your entire team. When they've got control of the play, when they've got pressure on the ball, no problem. But what a game for Zen. I might call Team Liquid, I think, Good idea there. Can't yeah, really like fault that. them for that one. Uh, you gotta get, you gotta cool Zen down just a little bit after a game like that one. I mean, you just also don't want to be against what would it be triple match point at that bit if they uh, do go ahead and win this one. Wow. I mean, I thought Liquid were gonna come into this and look really comfortable, especially after they got that first goal, and just it switched immediately. Zen just popped off. If you want the analysis, if you want the critical game breakdown, Zen popped off is about as good as it's going to get for you. Yeah, it's, it's just what happened. And it's the, the good news for Vitality is they've not really needed too many Zen pop-offs like that to make this final. Um, but isn't it nice to see uh, that he can do it in the biggest match that we've had all weekend. Mm. Uh, I think this really is just a timeout for Team Liquid to Calm uh, Vitality down. It was already tough uh, to, to imagine winning twice in best of sevens. Now it's an even bigger ask for them to uh, make the comeback happen. They're down 2-1 um, in games. Timeout used. But you got to think, it's just a one series at a time, one game at a time for this team. If they can somehow come back and uh, win this one, suddenly Vitality are going to experience something they haven't all weekend. Um, and that is a loss. So yeah, that, that's really it for, my, for a team like we just try and get your quick hold in the series, try and get your offense going. And somebody, for the, for crying out loud, somebody get <laughs> up quickly when Zen's on the ball, just or Alpha or Riddles, any of them. You need to just challenge fast. It's, just, it's as simple as that. Yeah, good of Zen just to have one defensive mistake at the end, just to give everybody some hope. You know, it, it's fine. He can, he can make mistakes just like everybody else, but it is now up to Team Liquid in a very crucial game number four heading our way. We've got the players over on Utopia Coliseum, and we know Team Liquid have got the ability. It really is exactly as you said. 
shut down the outplay. When it's been a little bit more of a normal game, I do feel like Team Liquid have actually been the better of the two squads. But if you're going to go for the outplay mode and you're not going to shut down Zen, yeah, you've got some problems on your hands. And it, it, it's not looking good for Team Liquid because Alpha 54 is not even um, started to get going yet. I mean, just I say that, you try to make a solo play happen. But really, when you look at the tournament as a whole, it's been Alpha 54's tournament. He's mm -hmm. been the guy, and Redosin as well, right there with him. I mean, the full team, yes, but Alpha, for me, has been the best player in this whole tournament. Zen, maybe in this grand final, is you know, kind of stolen the show, but he's not trying to do that. You know, they're all just doing, they're doing whatever makes sense in any position. Playing such a great style, making the most of uh, possession that they have, and making life really easy on each other on the pitch. Lovely blunt time that Atto's taking there. Oski trying to pre-jump, but got the raid wrong. Something a team like would have done well. Just taking time on the ball when Vitality are rotating back. And one of the big things that I do want to highlight here is probably what I consider to be the most important matchup, which is Redosin winning challenges. He has been automatic all weekend long. But he's against Team Liquid, who set you up so well to win those positions. Now Chronic back for double tap. Just off target, knew he had to try and snipe a corner. Just asked a little bit too much for himself. This is more of what Team Liquid ha had in game four, though. If they could just keep that midfield defense going. Oh, oh there you go. Be in trouble. Oh, boy. Atto just goes through everybody here. Quick recovery. That last touch to go past Redosin. Cannot be what Vitality were expecting. Zen certainly wasn't ready for it. Atto makes it 1 0. I mean, the Reed just to get that one going. He's planted himself on the wall, ready for it to come his way, and then he's just going to get going afterwards. We had Oski popping off earlier on. As a reminder that Atto was the star player that we had on Saturday. He was both the best and the worst in that series against Moist. Chronic. Doesn't need to move on in there. Instead, it's his teammate. A toe backboard. Has he got the setup? Oski moves on in. A Chronic realizes he doesn't want to just blast it. Instead, backboard one more time. Team Liquid are doing such a good job of just extending these plays. There's the setup. One more time. Can they get the goal? Oh, it's oh. just so good, Johnny. They did not waste a single touch. Uh, they just absolutely swarmed them. And that last touch from Oski just gets the ball away from where Redosin wanted it to be. Redosin expecting a back wall touch there. He's had, he's, he actually had that angle covered, but perfect set, uh, center ball there from Oski. Just smashing it into the ceiling to quickly get it into the middle. What a swing we're seeing here. Not for the first time. Team Liquid responding to a loss with a flurry in offense. Not once, not twice. Here they come again. I feel like we're getting a, a very close series with very few close games. I mean, yes, the last one did end up being 3-2, but it did feel for a long time like it was finished until a, a late attempt from Team Liquid. And Vitality changed the narrative of that. Get themselves back into this one. What I like as well from what we've seen from Team Liquid is they resist the temptation to take the shot early. We already know that a bad shot is basically a clear for defenses these days. You give anything over to them, it's gone away, and you're gonna have to start all over again. Team Liquid do not put themselves into that position. Yeah, quite happy to just continu continue attacking, especially in this matchup. Um, in, in a, not in a rush to get a shot on target. They, they know that they can place shots well. That's what they do. I mean, what is going on? Atos just brings he's up. Feeling, he's jumped to the ceiling to predict <laughs> it. That's one way to shut down a ceiling play. Is just be on the ceiling in defense as well. But I mean, most ceiling challenges are from players driving up the wall, not yeah. jumping from the ground. It's not nice aerialing level. it for it. Like, that's commitment. <laughs> that's putting your boost where your mouth is. Looks like Vitality, actually. Oh! They almost get something here. Alpha failed at center balls, then kept it alive. Came back towards him. Team Liquid are hanging on. What I can see now, though, just get a little bit more time out of the game and they'll feel a lot more comfortable. Two goal advantage. It can be big in roughly, but you know, not if you're the team conceding with about a minute to go, then suddenly it hardly feels like an advantage at all. You're right back to the most volatile position on the pitch. Um, they're not going to be there yet, though. Oski 
Max then up into the corner. Then all he could do is get it back into the midfield where a Chronic is waiting. This is perfectly done by Team Liquid. They're all active in the midfield. They're all relevant in every play. Keeping up their momentum, keeping their boost high. And what an outplay that is by Oski. Nearly gets the third goal through. Oski has just stepped it up in this Grand Finals. Three jumps just to avoid the demo. Vitality constantly threatening that. Long clear. Out for us to trek all the Whoa. way back. <laughs> well, he was very brave with it. It worked. I was getting flashbacks there. I've uh, done that many times myself, uh, but on the wrong side of the post. Time really getting away from Vitality now, though. Team Liquid are not over committing here. This is a disciplined end of the game. A team who always look for more goals realize it might be better to just let the clock do the work for us here. Let's keep the ball high away from Vitality. And that will send us into game five, all tied up. I'm curious the move here, because we know Team Liquid have burnt their timeout. Vitality still have access to theirs. Are they going to use it now, or will they wait for a potential match point from Team Liquid? I haven't heard a shout yet, though. I don't think they use it here. I mean, we, we always do say if you're if you're losing badly, you know, if you get absolutely mm. clapped in game four, um, you don't want to wait until match point to call your timeout. But this this wasn't a clapping here. You know, Vitality this lost. This one I'm okay with goals. either way on the yeah. goal. Like, I, I, I don't think that there's necessarily a wrong decision right now. The only real reason you'd want to call it is if Farah has seen something that he needs to say. Uh, yeah. But it does seem like he is happy overall with the performance of his team. And that does mean that we will be going to game number five uninterrupted. Johnny, I have a question for you. In the case that we do get that bracket reset, does the favorite for this change? Vitality came in as the favorite. Ooh. Would that go to Liquid? Uh, it's really tough to say. It, it, it really, I mean, it's on un unknown territory all of a sudden. If we get a bracket reset here, then we find out how are Vitality going to play after a loss? Because right up until now, Zen and, and Vitality playing with Zen have yet to lose a tournament that they've played. They've won every tournament they've played. Now, this is the first RLCS tournament they've played, but they haven't really done a whole lot of losing, if any. So. How they respond to that will be, we'll be learning um, about that if they lose this first best of seven. It's, it's uncharted territory, the big unknown. I know though, that's not looking too bad. That was close to the pinch. Yeah, he's managed to turn an interception into a pinch on target. Pass defense to attack in the fastest way possible. That's the level now. Offense can happen at any moment and the field really is not that big. Oh, hello. Oh, a toe's just over here for some reason. I'll tell you what, it's worked. Team Liquid. Well, why not? Trying to just catch them out. I mean, any, any, you know, back in the day, any other season, you might see a player in that position and think, why? But, you know, yeah. for, for players like Atto, you just have to, you just instead of saying why, you have to just ask yourself, okay, when? When is that going to be relevant? Because it's inevitable that at some point, he's going to turn it into a goal or turn it into a shot on target. I mean, that's just what Atto, Oski, uh, you know, Zen in this Grand Final Alpha all weekend have been doing. And, uh, you know, up bit to a lesser extent, Rodosin and, and, and a Chronic, but they've all had their moments. It's been... Oh, what a hair. Full of highlights. Good lead there by Rodosin. Saving his boost. Zen called that he had it. Tom's working out for Vitality on that play. Passes. The clears have been phenomenal on both sides of the ball. Defense really showing through. Zen avoids being hit, and now it is a Chronic by himself. And he's got a lot of orange cars around him. Needs the help. It's across the front of goal. Oh. It's grappling. Who's going to get there? Vitality decides to back down because oh, they wow. know they can hit, take a second shot at it. Well, you know, I've not really had many complaints about this grand final, but I do not like that hit from Oski. He's just given the ball to Vitality there in a position where his whole team is boost starved and not, none of them have momentum. No one's ready to follow up on that touch. I really don't see any advantage being gained by just hitting the ball away. If he just gets behind that goal side, low 50, it'll give his teammates time to get into position. It'll give his teammates time to grab boost, build up some momentum, and maybe get back into position. They're down by two now. Well, it's all gone wrong for Team Liquid. Has just popped off Oski. The little things that are making the difference in this Grand Finals. Redosin doubles up the lead. And these early surges have not been answered just yet in this series. A chronic, only as far as Redosin. Team Liquid are not getting the most out of these. 
There's the shot, okay. there's the goal! That was much better. Yeah, all of a sudden, that goal goes the other way. I mean, Oski's 50 to into the middle, and Atos there to finish. No goalkeeper for Vitality there. Means that Radostin really should not be trying to 50 the ball high in any way. Uh, but that's not, you know, it might not be his fault that he's done that. He might not have had a call that his teammates are going to be slow back. You never really know until you hear the comms, but what we can be certain of is that Radostin in that position is going to try and control the ball. He doesn't want it bouncing violently into the middle because they didn't have a goalkeeper ready to challenge the ball if that's what happens. I mean, you see what what does happen. You know, but you know, Team Liquid are going to have someone in the middle ready to shoot it. And he certainly did. Chronic controls. He's got time. He's got boost. Let's see what he can come up with. Some quite fine Radostin's car. Let's get the challenge, and the Chronic's on the half rotation. He actually made his way through off the double. Who's going to be the first to follow? Oh. Radosin makes himself big enough. Now Radosin and Alpha both went for the same ball. So lay it over to a Chronic, see what he can cook. Flip reset over the top of one. Team Liquid have done good work in these sort of positions, oh, but wow. that was wasteful. Oh, so yeah, Atos should be fine here. He's <laughs> trying to redirect this, but it goes a bit too high for him off that first touch. Definitely the most panic game that we've seen here. Both teams panicking it all over the pitch. Oh my goodness, this just gone in. A Chronic too strong midair. We've got a tie game. Oski reset and just send the car. See oh if it my, works. Oh my goodness. It absolutely did get dunked on. Two each, a minute and 52. And also series point on the line. Whoever gets this will be in the driver's seat. A Chronic reset for himself, takes it down to the floor. And Team Liquid are now just trying to crowd that back third. It's definitely a bit of a tilter for Vitality. Two 50-50s have ended up in the back of the net. I mean, we know Rocket League's not a game of luck unless we're talking kickoff spawn points, demo respawn points. You don't have any other luck in the game, but it does feel unlucky when 50-50s lead to goals against you. Vitality have to ignore that right now. Try and get their noses back in front. A minute to do it with. 18 boost for Zen. No doubt you can outplay four, five, six players here. If he wants to, he gets past two. I mean, he has done that. There is footage. That's not a good clear. The second clear is a lot better there from Atto, making up for his previous mistake. Massive goal up for grabs here for both teams. Radosin sees Alpha, he's gone so early, the pass is brilliant, and Team Liquid just held everybody back. They were not willing to try and race that one. You can still see though, every single time Team Liquid get the ball out of their own side of the field, just trying to chase down the third man. Do not want to make it easy. Radosin off the back. Atto happy to try and play this game with him. And Chronic's actually still downfield, doesn't get anything for it. Team Liquid have been lethal in these positions. The top, good challenge, double commit, a toe to finish, oh, oh, oh. too strong, and the shot was off target. That's a massive stand by Zen, completely alone with a bump coming his way. He still gets the touch on the ball to clear it, Vitality. In it to win it, and Zen with the double, he doesn't get contact, but Radosin's got a free shot, he's gonna shoot right to the goalie. Off the backboard, Zen sets up, Radosin's on the wrong angle. Zen, down for Alpha, back out to Radosin, shut down immediately, no. Alpha keeps it alive, from oh. the flick, couldn't find the car, we have overtime. Well, suddenly that went into an incredibly scary position for Team Liquid, but they've settled it. Are they going to be right back in the defense here? No, it's Atto, Love pass to Oski, reset is his, another one maybe, indeed it is, and in comes Atto for the finish, surely, and Zen, Oski there to score it. The clear just never came through for Vitality. Wow. 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 Johnny, I know I'm a little bit biased because I need to get back in the prediction competition, but please <laughs> give me another series of this. Outside oh, of that, fine. I really want another best of seven to add on top. The level is absurd. And Vitality now have to win two in a row. It's, it's ridiculous. I mean, we, we knew this was going to be a banger based on what we've seen from these players, these teams all weekend. But this is 
Very, very tense. Overtime game oh, five. It's ridiculous. The, very if quick this goal, is the actually. future of this esport, I am so happy. Oh, I've got good news. I would predict the future is even more incredible. We're getting flashes, little glimpses of the future. I mean, this is a very futuristic lobby. We've got brilliancies all over mm. the pitch um, in every single series today. I think the future of Rocket League is just brilliancies constantly. Um, so yeah. I, I, if it keeps trending the way it has the past few years, then we're going to be in for a treat in the long term. But we don't need to, to even to wait anymore. Just back in the day, now. Yeah, back in the day, we had to wait. We're thinking, OK, maybe two years from now, three years. Um, yeah. Yeah, those kind of shots will be possible. But the future is now. I mean, I mean we're getting crazy, mm -hmm. absolutely crazy goals on the regular. That being said, that game was a bit messy, to be fair. I think that it was, was. The, the messiest game of the grand final by a fair margin um, by both teams. I love messy Rocket League. Why do you think I'm so happy? <laughs> it makes sense, though. You know, the pressure's really getting uh, to a climax here. Vitality yeah. had a two-goal advantage, and we saw numerous double commits uh, in, in this last game. We, we, we saw <laughs> numerous 50-50s also working out brilliantly for Team Liquid. But I think, you know, Team Liquid, at the end of the day, they did deserve that. They really are the team who are attacking more in this matchup mm. and they're they're the team who are kind of deciding who the winner's going to be if they if they yeah. get it right they're going to win because vitality you know maybe zen had a uh had a game three where he took over and apart from that team liquid have been the team in control yeah well I'm, i mean you're going to see more mistakes happen in a series like this because it's a little bit like driving a formula one car they are trying to extract everything they can and you get to a point where it's that little step too too much you lose the grip and you just go sliding you've got to find the balance now in a series like this where the other team will happily keep pushing the bar higher how long can you keep doing that whilst maintaining the flawless form here we go now, we even get one of two things here, Johnny, and I'm happy either way. Either we are going to Champions Field for Vitality to take a chance, a chance at winning this regional, or we get ourselves a second series. Oh. Let's find out what it's going to be. Yeah, why can't we just have it all, to be honest? Let's have a Game 7 and a second series. I'm sorry, Vitality fans, but Team Liquid have just been so entertaining to watch this weekend. You know, I'm putting my own bias aside here. Love to be right with the predictions, but let's have a second best of seven. Why not? Why not see more of this level of Rocket League? I can't wait another two weeks for EU Regional 2. Let's just keep it going. It's been massive performances for so many teams. BDS back on form. Oh, that was dangerous. The shot is going to be a little bit wide. The return of Scrub Killer. Karin Kopp, fourth place. No one else would have thought they would say that about the major champions. The grand finals of this caliber. That's a good first touch. A chronic barrels through the second one. Oski, backboard, who's first? Well, two Vitality players. And they, they know they've got to be up quickly for these. Team Liquid have not said no to many chances. They're up for everything in the final thirds. That's, you know, really put a lot of pressure on Vitality, who now know if they're not up immediately, then they're going to get beat to the ball. That's a real problem because you don't even have time to communicate a lot of the time. Whose ball it is, who's going to go and who's going to sit down on the ground. You just have to trust your instinct and go if you think you can get there fastest. You know, when you've got players like uh, Alpha, Zen and Redosan in the field, they're all going to bet on, on themselves being the fastest quite often. So yeah, that's why we're seeing these double commits. It's not because they're failing to communicate. It's because they know if they waste any time at all, you take quarter second before jumping, you're getting dusted to the ball. My Vitality, I had a little bit of a look at offense. It didn't last nearly as long as they would have liked. And for Liquid, they don't even need a half chance to send the house. It's a fraction, they're happy to take it. Oski off the wall, good clear to Alpha, wanted the redirect. Get flashbacks every single time I see the ball in that position. As we are into the middle, Vitality playing a slow game here. Just trying to see what Liquid will do. This is off Vitality's own timeout. Yeah, I would like to see a bit more confidence from Vitality in these races to the ball. I think they are, you know, if, if nothing else, they are inviting Team Liquid 
to play their style. This is exactly what Team Liquid want. They want to pressure their opponents. They want to have space to play with. And they are guessing it. Vitality with some very deep rotations here. They can Team Liquid play this one out flawlessly. He's out of boost now, but he's at least going to be menacing in midair. Now Zen versus the Chronic. So finally gets back. Oski is now back. Just what you were saying earlier on, Johnny, the speed that people recover now from whatever position is absolutely ridiculous. You get no time at all to really set up your play. You have to make the best that you can in as quick of a time as you can. Yeah. I mean, that's why pretty much anything goes these days. Recoveries are instantaneous. And uh, that just enables players to play in positions that would have been considered just far too risky back in the day. You know, you, you jump up, you pre-jump early. Oh, hold on, hold that. No oh, way. Oh, I saw in the back wall again. You know, back in the day, you, you pre-jump early and you're not landing quickly, you're, you're gone. You're out of the game. But these days, with all the new wave dash mechanics, there's so many more ways to build up speed in the game. And all these players are so good at it. So Dustin has read that very early here. Double at center, but... Team Liquid have answered it well. Oh, it looks like Chronic and Oski actually landed on each other there. They are going to slow play the back corner. No mistakes this time from Oski. Oh, yeah, that's another demo. Oski's there to clear it. Team Liquid starting to feel the pressure. Yeah, Team Liquid looked dominant in the start of the game, but no goals for it. And Team Liquid, uh, Team Vitality have taken over. Also, no goals for it. A chronic, he's got options downfield. He's back those options started to bump each other. Is that just in? Whoa. Well, of all the ways that we have seen scoring this series, that was not the one I thought would win us one of them. Back down. Oski has a little bit of time to size the player off the wall. Off the backboard, leaves it for a toe! Oh. Zen keeps it out! Our full team commit, but they got the save. They got the clear. Vitality, hold on. Just 10 seconds to go. Liquid still knocking at the door. Five seconds. Oski, time again. Doesn't do the best job, actually does, but Zen just manages to sneak the ball away from him. And we do have overtime. Cost have been pretty standard today. This one is as well. Oh, great commit there from Atto. The speed to shut down Zen while he's alone at the back there. Gets Team Liquid into a brilliant position. It's infield. That's the double time center. Blocks the follow-up shot. Zen. Can't find a teammate. A toes downfield still with zero boost. He'd love to try and steal some, and he has done exactly that. Redosed it to Zen. Wait a little bit too long. Liquid are sending everything right now. They want that second series. A toe off the challenge. Alpha Crunch is through it. But Vitality cannot get a repeat at the start of this game. They have to get rid of this ball. I've done well there. They've managed their boost exceptionally well. Vitality under so much pressure. First best of seven on the line. Goal is oh, he's required. Oh, he's Zen's got time on the play though. Oh, the flank was hot, but Chronic saves it. And that is after getting harassed in the back of the goal. Oh, another one. Oh. Oh, jumped. That means oh. champion field. Here we come. And it's Redosen. Boost steal, demo, shot on target. Vitality were against it for much of that game. They were against it for much of that overtime, but they turn it around in the blink of an eye. And now they've got one more game between them and a tournament win for the first time in a long time. Alpha 54 back on top, Redosen in new territory. And Zen, I mean, every single series win is new territory for this guy, but <laughs> we've not seen the end of him yet, I'm sure. We're going to see so many new levels. In, uh, in his career if he decides to keep going for a long time. What a stand by Vitality. I mean, even a triple committed defense needed there to stay alive. They did enough. They do give us what we all wanted, that exciting prospect of a Game 7. I feel greedy at the moment. I feel greedy for what the Game 7 <laughs> and the extra series. We've got the Game 7 here, Johnny. Uh, Zen, I mean, you talked about the triple commit. He was the one that actually made the contact. His two teammates weren't going to quite get there. That's the reason why you just need to full send in those positions. Don't worry about the recoveries. That can be dealt with later. No timeouts, no nothing. We've got players on the field. Team Liquid versus Team Vitality. Bracket reset or regional championship. This is it. This is where we find out 
what this team can do. Oh, it's the kickoff goal! Huge blunder by Team Liquid. Two players out the game in the center of the field, and a chronic turns away from the net. Bit too much of a gap between him and the goal there. Thanks for Dawson again. I mean, he's just put them into game seven. Now he's put them ahead in game seven. That does now mean that Radosin's got two goals in two seconds. Congratulations. Alpha, reset. Shut down by a toe. Team Liquid already know how good Vitality's lockdown defense can be. They do not want to allow this 1-0 lead to stay. They definitely don't want to see a two-goal deficit. For now, no time to panic. You, you can't sit back if you're Vitality here. You've got so long to play. Team Liquid have found ways through your defense all day today. So you can't sit back. You have to keep the pressure on. You have to keep fighting for the midfield. As tempting as it is to just play, you know, with that park bus defense. I don't think that's what they're going to do here. They are still sending players every single time. Pressure on the ball. Zen with a shot on target. It's a slow one. And just another question. Another brief question, maybe. Or Team Liquid to think about. I mean, how incredible both these teams have been at finding the goalkeepers for the demos. It's just, it's just off the table entirely. You cannot allow yourself to get stuck back on your side of the field. So you have to keep playing this open gameplay. Radosin looking to try and add to the tally. Chronix missed it. A toe goes low. You can see the bump attempts. None of them quite landing. Both teams doing a great job of just matrixing around. Toe's already up. Good challenge from him. Who's the first to follow? Oski gets contact on the way back. Nobody is there! Whoa! And Tanti see the lead disappear! Zen creeping forward there. Thought Alpha was going to win the race in the midfield, but Alpha's miss actually leaves Zen stranded. Radosin, not back yet. Suddenly they've lost their lead. You know, Zen, he did trust Alpha to get that touch. He, if, he, if Alpha did get that touch, Zen's through on goal. It's, it's understandable, it's so tempting, because you're just you're clean through for another goal there. If Alpha gets the touch and hits it into the sidewall, if it doesn't happen, it's Team Liquid through for a goal. There might be in for another one here, the crossbar saves Vitality. Let's stop talking about momentum. Oh my god, Zen! Oh, he's got it! Oh! A chronic! How on earth have you kept this one each? Almost sensational in the final. We're going to need to wait a bit longer if there's going to be a clip from the young man. Still at a deadlock. Team Liquid having to survive for long periods of time here. But sorry, Vitality, what a back and forth we've been blessed with. Just think, anywhere else, plays like that, they score, they win, they get you championships. In this one, we just keep going. Oski fakes out the Zen. Get to pass Redosin as well, but Redosin and Alpha do a great job of just delaying. Both teams have not panicked often. The only one that we did have was back in game number five. And Liquid were the ones that came to regret that. Oh my. What an interception that was from Oski. Turning a very precarious position into possession for Team Liquid. Here he goes again. He stopped at ceiling height by Alpha 54. The challenges are being put in in the most ridiculous position. So good, it doesn't matter where you attack from. There's another player there. Final two minutes, the final game of our potential first best of seven. I had a coffee before this because my eyes have got a zip everywhere just to try and keep up. A chronic. He's that one. Comes out, plenty of time for a toe who can control it. Back down, Oski dives in. It's a lot of trust put into the teammate. Acronix, the last one off the challenge. Here's the follow, and a toe is finally back. But every time we get into those positions, yes, the recovery back is quick. But Acronix has to get a delay, and he's done it every time. And you know, it might not look like much, but that save on a low 50 is massive for Team Liquid. Zen's no up. way. No yeah. way! And it's in for Zen. It's in for Vitality. One minute and 10 seconds left to play. They're up by one. Is it the storyline ending? For Zen, he just wants to see a minute and 10 whittle away off that clock and claim his first regional championship in his first regional attempt. Is that going to be the way of it? A second goal would do wonders. It's gone down, tried for the pinch.
That's host. Somehow had it ready. Now oh, he's on the counter. Oh, he oh, oh. missed. The post pitch goes the wrong way. Team Liquid's so close. They're still so close to tying the game. But a difficult position to control goes against them. I don't know if it was a shot he needed to rush. In fact, I'm fairly sure it wasn't. But if you don't take that one quickly, it might just bounce upwards away from you. So you can't really blame him for rushing that shot in the near post. Very difficult to squeeze those in. Team Liquid couldn't do it this time. Mato. Has he got the support? Does he need the support? He's left it. Oski and a Chronic both in. Not the best play from Redosin. That was a good opportunity for Vitality to waste so much time at the clock. Chronic back out. Booming clear. 10 seconds. Team Liquid, what have you got? Yes, yeah, Team Liquid are a start for boost there. The attack slowed down. And here comes a Chronic. Reset. Tries to fake the defenders out, but they're both waiting for him. He's given them the ball. Vitality are going to win this. They've done it. In their first regional with Zen, they are the champions of Europe. The future is now. Team Vitality are your champions.